Hello friends, today let's see how to make perfect curd that too in a mud pot. Thick and tasty curd with tips for making it. Come, let's see how to make it. I will show you how thick the curd is. Let's see how to make this thick curd. The first important thing for making thick curds is milk. Here I have taken full fat milk. I have taken this full fat milk. It is also important to mix the milk well so that the fat doesn't go and settle at the bottom. Otherwise, it will go waste sticking to the sides and bottom of the vessel. So, mix it well. Now wait for it to fully boil and then switch off the gas. Mix it well once again. I'm going to use a pot for making curd today. You can even use an ever silver vessel. I have poured the milk in the pot. Now let it cool well till it is lukewarm. You should be able to touch the sides of the pot without getting hurt. So that is the temperature we are looking for. Now let this cool. Now the milk has come to a lukewarm temperature. I am able to touch the sides without getting hurt, without feeling the heat of it too much. If you are not very uh, sure, with a clean hand, you can even touch the milk and see whether it is lukewarm. It should be lukewarm to touch. Now to this, we are going to add curd. This is homemade curd from the previous day. It is always better to add homemade curd and not the ones which are store bought because the store bought ones use a different probiotic bacteria uh, that in order to keep it from becoming very sour they add a different kind of probiotic bacteria so it is always better to add homemade curd for good getting good tasty curd now during summer months lukewarm milk is enough if it is winter then it should be slightly warmer than lukewarm so you need to be careful about this step. Uh, it should be slightly more warmer than lukewarm temperature during winter. And during summer, a teaspoon of curd is enough to curdle so much milk. We have taken half a litre of milk here or 500 ml of milk here. So this teaspoon of curd is enough to curdle this milk during summer. But whereas during winter, you need to add a little more curd, a tablespoon of curd and the milk should be warmer than lukewarm. So that is the criteria. Now since it is summer here, and it's quite hot here, I am adding just a teaspoon of curd. I'm going to mix it well. Close this with the lid and leave it aside for 2 hours or 2 and a half hours. Here it's quite hot so curd will be ready in 2 and a half hours or maximum 3 hours. In cold, colder places it might take a little bit more time. If you live in a cold place you can keep it inside a microwave oven without it being switched on. You can uh, switch it on 
make it a little bit warm then switch it off and keep this inside and close the microwave oven it will be ready uh, quite soon then while it is kept outside now I'm going to close this and keep it aside my mother used to always say that you need to say a small prayer that this curd should taste well and be formed correctly uh, as soon as you mix the milk and curd a little so I usually follow that and my curd used to be good every time and never open in between to see whether the curd is curdled or not uh, leave it for at least minimum two two and a half hours and then open this and see uh, as you keep opening it and closing it the formation of the curd will be dis disturbed and you will not get tasty curd so you need to set it aside where it is left undisturbed for two to two and a half hours till it is curdled well and whenever possible if possible please get a mud pot for making curd that gives a nice taste to the curd uh, the uh, mud pot tends to uh, draw out the water from the milk so the curd that is formed will be very hard not uh, in the sense hard quite thick so it will be very tasty and uh, when you curdle milk in the pot it never becomes sour it, it always stays in the correct sourness level and it tastes very good it is very good for health too so in case you you can get pots please get and curdle in that but even you can do the same procedure with the um, ordinary vessel any vessel it will come out well now let us set it aside for two and a half hours i will show you how thick the curds we get after two and a half hours it's three hours now Wow, see how thickly the curd has set. There's a little water on top. Otherwise, this thick curds. You can see that the curd is not even moving, it is that thick. In Tamil Nadu, curd is associated with goddess of wealth. So after 6 o'clock, curd will never be given to the neighbors or anybody who asks for it. If they want curd, then they bring the milk to the family and the family curdles it and gives it as curd the next morning and never the curd is given as such after six o'clock in the evening so these are some uh, beliefs associated with curd and whenever a new family moves into the neighborhood we make friends by offering them curd for curdling their milk to start so it's called as urai mor so here we have our wonderful curd thick curds so today we saw how to make curd in a pot after utilizing the curd let's see how to clean the pot it is very vital that we clean this pot well you can use the coco after using the coconut you can take the fiber from the coconut like this store it and you can use this for cleaning the pots it is very good now in case you don't have access to this you can al also use this green scrubber either ways both are good now clean this well so that the curd comes off the green part of the scrubber to scrub this well wash the pot well
Now we have removed all the curd. It is better not to use any detergent or dishwashing liquid in the pot because pots have holes in them. So that's why it keeps everything cool. Now in case you are going to use the dishwashing liquid, it might get lodged in the pores and it might get mixed with your food. So it is better to clean this with salt. In olden days, ash was used to clean it. Nowadays we don't have access to ash, so you can use salt. Now this will also clean the pot well. It will deodorize the pot and your curd will be fresh every time to use it. So for all the pots, you can use a little bit of salt and if you are using oil in the pot, then you can use a little bit of rice flour and salt to clean it. Your pot will be clean. Now our pot is clean and odor free. If you don't clean the pot properly then it will smell very badly and your curd will not taste good. Now in case you have direct access to sunlight, you can dry this pot in sunlight well in order to be odor free or at least you can dry it in an airy place for as long as it takes to dry. So we have seen how to make curd in a pot and also to clean it well. This video please click thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.